I'm Victoria Rose and I'm 15 years old. And right now I'm working on two classical variations and then I'm also working on a contemporary piece. My contemporary is actually called C. I do a lot of arm movements where like I cover my I cover my eyes. I can't see something but I want to and there's something blocking my view. There have definitely been things that have been difficult or like a struggle, just like my contemporary. For instance, <laughs> I, uh, I had brain surgery. We had to do like this pirouette combination and it was super fast and all turns and I was getting really, really dizzy. <laughs> Not a normal dizzy, because I do fautes and pirouettes and chenets and I'm used to spinning and turning and I like fell to the floor. I had an MRI and then we, my mom and I come back from the doctor and he's like, okay, well, unfortunately you have a brain tumor. And I was like, what? You, you're, you can't be serious. It was in my cerebellum and um, it like affects all my balance. So then the doctor's like, okay, well, you're gonna have to have surgery um, this Thursday. And it was like Tuesday. I was like, okay, okay. And then I get in the car, I'm like, this Thursday, and I'm like freaking out. Well, my dad, my dad emailed people and they're like, well, as you all know, Victoria's been feeling really sick lately. And we thought it was like an ear infection or just something like that. And but we, she had an MRI done, and she actually is going to have brain surgery. Just thought we'd let you know <laughs> that's how it went. <laughs> the surgery was like nine hours long. I woke up in like the intensive care. It's really like in a movie when someone wakes up a little bit and it's like all fuzzy. It was like just like that in the movie, and like. Everything was tilted sideways. I woke up, I woke up, I had a lot of support from all my friends and that was like amazing. There was people that played songs for me, there were people that stayed with me all day, there were people that walked me in my wheelchair. It was amazing having all my friends there. I had a second surgery that was gamma knife surgery and what that is is it's radiation that they zap into your head to get away the little parts of the tumor that were left over. What they do is they take this um, like helmet and they have to screw it, screw like these bolts to your head and they have to go through your skin in four different spots and attach to the skull. That hurt because it had to go through the skin and it blood and that looks kind of gross but <laughs> just telling you what it is. They put the helmet on me with all the screws and I had all the numbing shots that was just a couple hours before Nutcracker rehearsal. <laughs> So I'm, I'm used, to, since I'm a dancer, I'm used to like bouncing on one foot on point. I can do all that stuff and then after the surgery, I couldn't even stand on two feet by myself, so that was a change. I think I had therapy every Tuesdays and Thursdays. They had me doing things that like would get me dizzy, like they were fun stuff now that I think about it but at the time I didn't like it. A lot of balancing games I had to stand on. I had to stand on a board and like balance and I'd have to close my eyes and touch my nose. And, but therapy helped me a lot. What kept me motivated I think was I just, I don't know the word, maybe. I wasn't miserable but because that's such an intense word. But I was not happy. When I was just like standing there and not being able to do anything, I, I wanted to be with my friends and I wanted to dance and I wanted my normal life back. It was a push. You know, the, the hardest part is always getting started. And that was getting started. <laughs>
I really think that my family and friends have done like so much, like all their support and their prayers and everything is amazing. Like I, I definitely couldn't have done it without them. Well, duh, I couldn't have done it without the doctors. The doctors and the nurses and the physical therapist at Chalk, the Chalk Hospital have helped me so much. I couldn't have done it without them. People tell me that I've done amazing things and I'm just going, I have? Because <laughs> I'm just trying to get my life back. Well, if, if you're having a problem or you, you, there's just something that is in your way, you can do it, you really can. It's not that hard once you get started. My contemporary is about, I can't see something, but I want to, and there's something blocking my view, and then at the end, I just am like, okay, I can't take it, so I, I, I've got to see, so then I see.